So before we start using Rekordbox, we first need to organize where our music is stored on our computer because unlike any other software you might have used before for managing your music, Rekordbox doesn't copy or move it anywhere. So wherever you drag and drop it from to import it into Rekordbox, it will look for it in that location. For example, I've got a whole load of tracks here in my downloads folder on my computer. If I dragged and dropped this into Rekordbox and then deleted them from my downloads folder, they would no longer be within Rekordbox. It wouldn't be able to find those files. So we first need to make sure that we put a folder on our hard drive where we're going to keep our music. Now this folder that we create on our hard drive, we don't want to move it afterwards. We don't want to do anything with it at all. When we drop the music into there, we want to keep that music in there. We don't want to go in there to delete anything. We want to make sure that, that folder keeps intact and we don't move it at all. So for example, on my computer here, I'm gonna go into my user folder, I'm gonna go into my music folder here, and I'm gonna make a new folder in here called Rekordbox DJ. This can be named whatever you want, and it can be in whatever location you want. It could even be on an external hard drive. You just need to make sure that when you start Rekordbox, the software up, that you have that external hard drive plugged in, otherwise it won't be able to find any of the music. Also, if you're gonna use an external hard drive for your music, for your Rekordbox music, then you need to make sure that obviously you still have enough USB ports so that when it comes to exporting it onto a USB stick to be able to play in your DJ sets, you have enough USB ports so you can have your external drive plugged in and your USB stick plugged in. So we got our music folder here, and this is where we're gonna store all our music that we're gonna import into Rekordbox. So I'm gonna go back to my downloads folder and I'm gonna copy all of this music out of here and into that music folder. And now, of course, I can go back to my downloads folder and I can actually delete these files out of there because I don't need these anymore. They're all safely stored within my record box folder. And then whenever you download new promos or you buy new tracks online and they go to your downloads folder, you can then move them back into this record box folder for safe storage. Now you also need to make sure that when you do download new music and it goes to your downloads folder, you put it into your record box folder first before you actually drop it into the software. Because if you drop it into the software from the downloads folder, then move it from the downloads folder into your record box folder, then record box, the application, the software won't be able to find that music. So you need to make sure that you move it first to your record box folder on your hard drive or on your external drive before you drag and drop it from here into the software. Now you can create subfolders in here if you want to. Say for example, every month you download new music, you could put it in a subfolder within this folder. So if you wanted to create a new folder for each single month or each single year, or maybe you wanna subcategorize it by different genres, you can do that if you want to, but it's not really needed because all the organization we're gonna be doing is within the software itself. So it's up to you. You can store it like that if you want to. If you like to be super organized, then you can do it that way, but it's totally fine to just leave it in a folder like this and do all the organization within the actual software itself.